So ever since I answered the question, what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? And you know, in my previous video, I mentioned that I would push harder, um, push harder in relationships, push harder with um, my work, push harder with uh, businesses and my PhD. Um, it's really got me thinking and I thought I'd share with you some of the areas where I started to push harder. So at the moment, um, with the PhD, I have a paper that I need to submit and I found it challenging. I think it's just the process of learning that I haven't necessarily found um, easy learning about how to write, like I write academically, so like academic writing. And I just, it's, it can be quite demoralizing actually because you feel like, oh, am I ever gonna get this? You know, it's just taking so long, there's so much to learn. But then I keep telling myself, but what if you knew you couldn't fail? would you stop um and my answer is no i wouldn't stop because i if i know i'm not gonna fail then i keep going because to stop would be to to stop would be to make myself fail therefore if i know that i can i can do this and i will succeed um despite the challenges despite how difficult it sounds or seems um i would keep pushing so with the phd work i'm pushing I'll keep on pushing and I'm hoping that yeah at the end of it I'll get there and I'll be able to um, yeah get the work done and um, be able to submit it to a good standard and learn from the process I'm also another thing I just thought I'd share as well is the fact that although I'm finding the academic writing side of the PhD um, challenging sometimes I am actually really grateful for doing this PhD, even though sometimes it gives me a headache, um, because I'm learning things that I think are very interesting and are going to help me and are helping me um, with my business, which is the business to do with career education. And yeah, I'm, I'm really grateful for that. I'm grateful that I'm learning and discovering things, um, sometimes not necessarily things I need to write the paper, but um, necessary things that I'm learning that will be quite helpful for my business. So I'm very grateful for that. You know, sometimes, yeah, things can be difficult, but it's also a good idea not to lose sight of the good that you're gaining from something. Sometimes when things aren't going so well, you feel like you know maybe you should just call it quits on the whole thing and there are many times when i've thought should i just quit this thing um you know nobody's making me do it maybe i should just let it go and focus on business and i mean that's to be discussed but for now i'm really grateful for the things i'm learning whilst doing this phd and i'm looking forward to being able to apply some of the things i've learned to business and in when i when i start giving or when i continue giving people advice um to do with their careers and pushing forward with it but yeah i just thought i'd share that i just thought i'd share that with you what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail i think the next time i talk about this it should be about how i'm then applying this to business um oh by the way with relationships i'm applying this in the sense that i'm increasing my surface area for meeting um, people particularly um, business uh, related uh, meeting so I, I'm on um, I'm on a platform called launchclub.com and over there um, you, you basically get paired up with somebody every week or yeah every week if you sign up to do it every week so you set a time and then you meet with the person um, whoever the algorithm um, allocates to you or decides that oh maybe you have some things in common and then have a conversation so I had one of those today and it was a really good conversation it wasn't a thing where I was necessarily looking for a particular business deal or or anything like that for me it's just increasing my surface area you know and as I was telling the guy I met um, it's about you know the strength of weak ties and he's just like ah that's really cool and then he recommended a few um, books as well um, or a particular book actually that had quite a few speeches which i thought was interesting to to uh, read then um he was also he's an angel investor and this is after having run a company and started a company rather um to do with uh fintech and so he's an angel investor in the space as well so it was really good speaking to him and i think he's somebody that i'll keep in touch with over the years and um, be able to learn from and see how i can contribute um 
to his his stuff as well uh but yeah it was really good so that's it um and for me the point of building those relationships is that you never know where things may lead right you never know if you know you have a conversation with somebody you meet people and then you might be the person who can be the connector between two people who um, need each other's services or who can help each other so that's for me is what I'm, I'm doing in terms of relationships um in terms of business uh, there's more work to be done in terms of um, pushing marketing for my business so for my two businesses one is the voice of a voiceover business and the other is the career business the career business we don't need the marketing as such right now um, we're still testing out the platform and a few things but on the voiceover side of things yeah I could do with some um, I could do with improvement in my marketing practices and I'm working on that the only thing I find though is that I'm still just one human being right so being able to manage everything does take its toll and sometimes it's a bit hard to find enough hours in the day to manage everything and do things well however um, I'm also thinking about ways of streamlining it bringing people on board to help me um, I'm working with a company who is helping me to put together a sales plan and not just a sales plan but like actually build the funnel and everything and with the hope of getting sales come through so I'm looking forward to that working out then I'm looking to work with um, some of my mentees in terms of giving them the experience as well of building this sales funnel and then also for them to build uh, to gain more work experience that way they can also grow in it as well they can also grow through the process uh, so it could be a win-win there um, just trying to figure out how to ease the burden off myself but still get more work done uh, yeah so again what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail that's a question I think that's going to be a guiding force for me for the next few months knowing that you know what be positive you can actually succeed and you can actually do very well so don't be afraid that you might fail therefore not put in the effort no on the other hand put in the effort like you know you're not going to fail and then work towards actually getting the things you want done but also work smartly so don't burn out when you need help ask for help and find people who can help you as well i thought i'd share those thoughts with you all right have a good rest of the day it's very sunny here in the uk um i'm i'm gonna head home now i think it's only about like it's 7 p.m and look how bright it is i'll show you it's so bright yeah it's so bright and it's only just 7 p.m so um anyway i'm gonna head home um, rest a little bit then I've got a few calls to make and I've got to push some more on this PhD paper and I'm hoping it'll turn out well but yeah I just thought I'd share those thoughts with you all right take care and I will catch you later bye